Hey, 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 hurry up. Come to me, my sneaky imitators, insidious pretenders, secret maniacs, and disguised freaks. Do you enjoy your simulation game? Let's repeat what you have learned so far. Physical reality is accessible here in the materialization frame. Access to the future is only open from the other side. In the image frame, you are designed to live in reality like characters in the movie. You cannot avoid the script, but you can awaken and launch a different one. While you are changing the films, you continue playing your role and hide your presence. Presence in the motion picture what does that mean? Most of all, it is presence of your conscious awareness, yourself. It is the presence of yourself in yourself as a living, awakened, and sane individual in an immutable motion picture. Even though the motion picture spins fast, it is predestined, and actions of characters are predetermined. Your presence there highlights you as awakened among sleepwalkers. You are consciously aware of your individuality and what is happening around you. Your behavior, your role inside the given motion picture predetermined by script. However, presence gives you the ability to change the film role and switch from one to another. In order to be present, you must come alive Shake yourself up and identify your location. Are you in the image frame or materialization frame? In other words, identify location of your attention focus. Is it in the central awareness point or emerged in one of the screens? In your essence, you're a dual creatures. You can be on both sides of the mirror, behind the looking glass, and here. You are present here while you are present there. Such a paradox. If you fail to be present, you are, well, you're absent then. You are not yourself. You are in a constant state of perturbation and entirely at the mercy of the script. Do you remember? I told you that when you are awakened in waking life, your attention crosses through the threshold of the looking mirror and turns out in the virtual mannequin. The same happens when you fall asleep, in bed and dream. But the quality is different in the dream world, you can only move a virtual reality. It is not possible to influence physical reality from that state. Well, it is possible, but very difficult. Not appropriate task for snails. In a state of awakened presence, you have the ability to compose forthcoming reality and manifest it into physical reality. I keep repeating the same thing to you over and over, engrave it into your understanding. You can and should be composing your reality. But that is not enough. You must clearly comprehend that when you're composing reality, you're determining the end goal your upcoming frame, not the chain of events. I repeat, when you compose reality, you're ordering end goal, the desired frame, not the chain of events that you think will lead to it. Not how, but what. When you compose reality, you choose film role, not its script. The script is beyond your power. You are not granted the ability to know which script will lead you to the desired outcome. Don't worry. 
your little heads with concerns of how. Concentrate your attention on what. After all, you do not need to know the script either. Your movie projector. When your desired frame is illuminated, chain of events will automatically turn itself as it should. Again, when you choose the new film role, you set a new script in motion. The script does not belong to you, but to the events that have been recorded on it. Moreover, without your knowledge, only the goal frame is yours. Really, the film role chooses itself in accordance with the frame you highlighted. How this happens is not necessary for you to understand. Just keep on illuminating your desired frame again and again. This will move you from film role to film role until you arrive at the desired destination. In the Eternity Archive, the film roles are arranged in parallel. The scripts of the films that are near each other differ only in minor nuisances. When you order your desired frame, you slowly transition from film roll to film roll. At first, you appear on the film roll while you are closer at your aim, but not there yet. Then keep on transitioning and getting closer and closer. All of this happens invisibly to your eyes and with different speeds of realization, depending on complexity of your goal. Simple goals materialize almost instantly, while harder to reach ones, the ones that require you to transition through many film roles, travel far, require patience and time. Your task is to focus your attention on the upcoming frame. The script is not a matter of your concern. If you are going to try to compose the script or resist it, it will capture you in a trap. By trying to influence the chain of events, you grab on to current frame with death grip. You already know that it is pointless. The harder you hold on to it, the more tightly you will be gripped by the tail. <laughs> I mean, your plate. Similarly, it is pointless to try to manipulate people. It is such an ignoble and thankless act. It can also end up sideways for you or even have a negative return effect. Characters must act according to their script. When you try to manipulate them, you once again set yourself in a trap. So don't do it. They will come running to you themselves and do everything that you want them on their own accord. But more on that later. I repeat, you should use your influence on your desired end result and desired frame, not people and chain of events. I know you will still try to do it anyway out of your stubborn habit persisting on having everything going always according to your plan. I will beat this habit out of you if I have to. You are such persistent wimps. Possibly we should just preserve you like nasty little bugs, dead and dried up, on a display to showcase as harmful insects. Opicle you in a jar full of formalin and make an example of you to all other creatures. So, behave properly. Don't forget, I'm Tafti, your priestess. Praise me, worship me, and do not anger me.